Hey guys, I weave these knotted coasters. I saw a picture of this knot on Pinterest and made it into a coaster. I use this braided macrame cord. I tried making one with a twisted cord, but it didn't end up being as rigid. I broke the knot down into steps, so hopefully this will make it easier to understand. I tried making a coaster with two rounds, and it turned out to be too small. I made one with three rounds, and it was still too small. Then I used a four inch circle with pins, which got it to be the size that I wanted. Since I don't have a cork board, I used a cardboard box to add thumbtacks. First make a circle with a diameter of 4 inches. Since this knot has 10 arcs, mark the circle at 36 degree angles. I started with a straight line, then mark the angles. I dotted and numbered the 10 sections like this. Then I erase the lines because they get confusing. Next I added thumbtacks. The cord that I used was 4 yards and 6 inches. Wrap one end with tape like a shoelace. This will make it easier to weave. Tape the other end of the cord to the box by the number 1. Bring the cord to the number 2, wrap it around the thumbtack, and go to number 3. Wrap it around the thumbtack, and bring the end under the cord before going to number 4. Wrap it around the thumbtack and bring the end under the cord before wrapping it around number 5. Then bring the end over the two cords and wrap it around number 6. Next, cross over the cord and under the next cord. Then go over the cord and under the next cord. Next, go over the cord and wrap it around number 7. Then go under over under over, under, and wrap it around number 8. Then go under,
over, under, over, under, over, and wrap it around number nine. Then go under, over, under, over, under, over, and wrap it around number 10. Then go under, over, under, over, under, over, and under, ending up next to number one. Adjust the cord so that the spacing looks even. Then wrap the end around number one. Follow the same path to create a second round. Remove the naughty coaster from the box. Carefully weave the cord a little at a time. When you reach the end, adjust the spacing again. Then follow the path to create the third round. When you reach the end, adjust it again. Follow the path of the cord.
At the end, you should have four cords. With a needle and thread, sew through the four cords. I started from the second cord so that the ending knot wouldn't show. Sew back and forth until the coaster seems secure. Then cut the extra cord. Tuck in the ends and sew the cords again. Then knot it. Cut the extra thread and your coaster is done. This was my first attempt and this was my second attempt. 